welcome back to episode two of Catching Up the Clippers. I'm Annie Henderson. And I'm Jamie Robbins. Recently, we had a great open house with all the incoming CHS freshmen. On this episode, we have an athlete spotlight and a teacher spotlight and much more. Additionally, this is a reminder to save the date for parent-teacher conferences on December 7th. And make sure you sign up for your winter sports team. Now to Grace and Miguel. Hi, I'm Grace Lozowicz. And I'm Miguel Garcia, and today we are joined by Patrick Conserve Jr., and I play linebacker and tight end for the football team. Brianna Landry, and I play left outside back for the girls' soccer team. It's a pleasure having you both on today. We would like to know how your season went. You know, unfortunately, our season didn't end how we wanted it to. We wanted to end with a ring, but it was just a fun experience to play and have one last ride with my brothers. <clears throat> we had a good season, unfortunate loss to LaSalle in the semifinals, but overall, good competitive season. So, I know both of you are seniors this year, but what are your hopes for the team next year? Uh, my hopes for the team next year is that we just keep playing hard. Our program has consistently been able to make it to the playoffs, and I don't really expect anything to change next year. Um, our girls constantly make it to the semifinals. Hopefully next year we can apply our regular season competitiveness to the playoffs and make it to the finals. What are both of your plans for the future? Uh, my plans for the future are to continue my academic and athletic, uh, just playing and further that into university. I don't know what college it's going to be just yet, but those are my plans. Um, I don't know about athletics. I might play soccer or run track in college, but I plan to study computational biology. Uh, if you want more sports updates, tune in to Go Blue Clippers on Instagram. And thank you for tuning in with us at Catching Up with the Clippers. That was our athlete spotlight. And now we welcome Maddie with the teacher spotlight. Hi, my name is Maddie Essies. I'm the student gov vice president. I'm here with Mr. Curran to ask some questions. Mr. Curran, what do you do at CHS? I'm a teacher. I run student government. Uh, I run the drama club. And I'm also the tallest and most handsome teacher. Um, why did you want to be a teacher? Uh, I just love working with high school kids. Um, it's very rewarding. Um, makes the day go by a lot faster, even when they're pains in the butt. <laughs> um, what is your favorite thing to do with student government? I actually love the work, everything we do with the community. Um, we're doing the fill truck this weekend, which is awesome. I love doing the um, Christmas time gifts. I can't think of what it's called right now. Um, the adopt a family. Adopt that was family. Really, adopt a family. <laughs> you guys can put me on the spot. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> uh, but I like everything. I just like the. I like the school spirit. I like getting involved. So it's a very important thing. Do you have any funny stories from teaching? Uh, I have a few funny stories from teaching. I'm trying to think of you. You put me on the spot. <laughs> My favorite funny stories from teaching. Um, I think one of the best things ever was I had a girl one time. This is something old school, though. I was like sitting in the front row, and I was in the middle of teaching, and she just pulled out a bag of chicken cutlets. <laughs> and I was like, what do you, why do you have those? She goes, I put them in my bag last night, and I just never took them out. So it was pretty awesome. That, that does sound pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. And then lastly, what is your favorite class to teach, and why? I love all my classes. I like teaching in general, so just give me four walls and a bunch of kids in the room, <laughs> and I'm pretty happy no matter what it is. Sounds good. Thank you, Mr. Kern. Peace. <laughs> Thank you, Maddie and Mr. Kern, for the teacher spotlight. Now we welcome Sean, Connor, and Ryan with our random interviews. I'm Ryan Titus here with Sean Mirbot, and we're about to interview random students and teachers. All right, who am I here with? Patrick Conserve Jr. All right, what's your favorite holiday? Uh, probably Thanksgiving, because, you know, just a whole bunch of food, and you get football on that day, so two and one. Yes, sir. All right, who am I here with? I'm Mr. Curran. All right, Mr. Curran, what's your favorite restaurant? Um, I, I like Los Andes in Providence. It's delicious. All right, thank you very much. I'm here with Mr. Parasol. Hello, Mr. Parasol. If you were to have one dish of food, what would it be? It's a very difficult choice to make. I like food and drink a lot, so picking one is very difficult. I would say Chinese is pretty good. I'd also say a chicken marsala is pretty good. And a pizza from Caserta's is pretty good too, so it depends on the day for me. Nice. Thank you boys for the random interviews. And now to Gianna to introduce the new school store. Hi, my name's Gianna Delfino. I'm here with Lucas Ribeiro talking about the school store. How is the school store this year? Uh, this year it's a fresh new start for the school store after being closed for multiple years. Hopefully we can run up some new business for the store and with this group of seniors and multiple seniors to come that we can have a great group of kids around it. 
What's your role in the school store? Uh, I'm a PR manager, so I'm running all the pop-up shops, all limited offers, and I'm trying to get like sports, like the sport team limited items and stuff like that. That's cool. What should students expect this year for the school store? So after Spear Week, we really realized that a lot of the limited items are what most people want from the school store. So the hopes this year, is, especially for hockey season, is to get whatever the theme is for the hockey games, those type of items into the school store so people can show their school spirit at the games. That's really cool. Thanks for your time. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in and watching Catching Up with the Clippers. Stay tuned for more. And that was Catching Up with the Clippers.